What's happening guys, welcome back to House Flipper, we are here again in the HGTV DLC and the next job we are going to do is only one half. Here we go, May works in property renovation and the rental business and she's expecting a baby, so there's no way she can work as much as usually. I think that's supposed to say as much as usual. Someone has to help her with her house for one of her clients. It's a semi-detached house that requires some work and due to the circumstances may only ask to take care of one part. Fortunately, the house doesn't need a major makeover as it underwent a renovation not so long ago. It's currently in developer standard and just needs some finishing touches. The client has two dogs that are treated as a part of the family. If the budget is high enough, we'll add some additional accessories for the pups. I'll see you there, Oliver. Jordan. We have $9,000 as a budget. We have two choices and 10 rooms. So let's get into it and see what we've got. Right, so let's just run around the outside here. Why do we have two front doors? I'm at the wrong door. Oh, of course. They said it was a semi-detached. I've never seen this though. Two properties in the one land area. That's quite unusual. Well, I suppose we're only working with this one then. What does this one say? Ah, there we go. That's fine. Get rid of all of this. This is actually quite clean. Not too bad. Close that. We don't want any drafts. What is this? Can we get in here? Yep. So let's get all this clean. Do they want anything done in here? No, just remove trash. That's fine then. Get rid of all of this, there we go, boom, excellent, close the door, forget about this room, don't have to come back here, that's fine. So in here we have got a choice there and a choice here, but I'm just going to have another look and see what else we need to do. We need to remove the trash. Which was just that one bit, it seems. Paint with the colour natural beige, floor tiles, floor panel pine, and mount a short narrow curtain. So what is in here? The bathroom. Let's start off with the choices first and see what we've got. Here's an idea, maybe we should demolish the two walls and connect the living room, dining room and kitchen together. Shall we do it? She says, let's knock it down, and he says, Let's keep the walls and separate the dining space from the space dedicated to entertainment. It's a good solution for traditionalists who consider it distracting to sit and eat with their family while having a TV turned on in the background. Um, let's go with this one, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that one. So she wants us to knock all of this down, which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and do this. It's still extremely slow at this stage. I don't think we've done much upgrades to this, if I'm being honest. Right, there we go. There's that wall down. And now the next choice. Right, someone has started working on the kitchen already and gone with a dark brown paint. Should we stay by the theme? She says the idea is quite unique, let's add some traditional hanging lamps and a nice bright set of furniture with grey granite. This way we'll balance and brighten this room. And he says I doubt that our client is going to be happy with a kitchen looking like a dark chamber, let's put some brighter colours on the walls. Pendant lamps would only make such a small interior feel more cramped. We need surface mounted ones. Let's go with... I'm going to go with her again, I think. Let's go with this. There we go, right. So we need to destroy... We need to destroy more walls. Where about? 
these ones. Yeah, I think so. New demolition skill available. Thank goodness for that. Um, let's go with... Let's go with this. We've got one for here as well. Hold up to five tiles, 100%. Negotiation. Let's go with... Let's go with this one. I'm not bothered about that one just now, if I'm being honest. Right. So, what we need to do in here, destroy walls 21 out of 27, other ones are in the bathroom there, I'm not going to bother about that just now. We need to build 5 walls, which, is that 4 in here? Oh, let's get rid of this wall first. I'm not bothered about building the walls just now, we will get to that. I'm going to close this door so that it separates the room so we know what we're working with. Right, so we need to paint with the colours Young Flower Bud. So, tasks, young flower bud, let's buy, let's buy two of them because we've got 80 walls to do and presumably that is going to cover this area, it's not changed, and over here as well, yep, so this entire area needs to be painted in this colour, so guys, I'm not going to you're not going to watch me do that, if I'm being honest, it'll take far too long, so I'll bring you back in when we are almost done. Right guys, that's us almost done with the painting. It actually, it only needed us to do 80 walls, which to be honest has, has been and gone quite a long time ago, but we kept going with it anyway. Now what we need to do is we need to paint with, sorry not paint, we need to put the wallpaper on. We need to put 11, 11 tiles on. 11 tiles obviously being the, the wallpaper, that's how it's, that's how you apply it, it's like tiles. And I was thinking it could maybe go on this wall, but then I don't know if I want to put it here. I don't think it can go, I did think maybe put it from there right along to here and then cut it back in on this side here. But I think that would be too much. I think what I'm going to do is there's a step here, as you could see. So I'm going to fill that step in. And I think what I'm going to do is put the wallpaper on this bit here. And then I'm just going to paint this bit green. And I've also got a bit in here that I need to paint green as well. In fact, let me just do that while I've got the... Or while I had the wall tool out. There we go, there's that. I think we could put more than one in at a time if I'm honest. But that's fine. There's another... In fact, what we did do is we did unlock another skill point as well when we were doing the painting, so let's have a look at that first. Paint three walls at a time or you won't waste paint on an already painted wall. I am going to go with, I'm going to go with this one because I probably have overused some paint but I'm generally quite good at judging, judging it so that's fine I'll go with that one so go back to this, let's quickly get this painted and we'll just cut the wallpaper back so paint this wall, it's maybe a bit much green if I'm being honest but it's, it's not a bad looking green. I still need to do these angles in here. Angles, reveals, a few different names for them. Let me just do them just now. You always need to remember to get that little bit in there. It's a bit of a nuisance to get to at times. We only used three pots this time though, and not the, the five that we used in the last one. Last couple of bits here, and then here, oh, almost, 
hopefully we've got some paint left in these, there we go we do, thankfully. There we go. Right, so let's go to this tool, let's go to tasks, go to wallpaper with bamboo, buy many, let's buy, how many do we need to put down? 11. Let's buy a couple, just in case. So, one, two, three. Oh, we can only take five at a time. Hopefully this will, oh yeah, definitely. We're already up at ten. Right, I have just noticed something. It's now wanting us to paint with a different colour. So it turns out this green isn't going to work throughout the entire... You know, throughout the entire um, open area. It wants us to paint with a bloody red. Why would you want green and red? in an open area. I didn't think you were... Well, not that green and red aren't really... They don't really match very well, do they? Maybe they do, actually. I'm not an interior designer by any means. You probably already already get that if you've been watching the episodes, to be honest. Right, so, bloody red. We don't have a choice. Let's go with that. Bloody red. They want 50 of them, so let's just get two. And I wouldn't even know where to start. What if we start from... Let's try and do this wall. So this wall right across, across here, into there, and maybe just over here. Let's try that, see where that takes us. Right guys, this is what we've done so far. We've painted where I said that we were going to paint, but for the third time I've overlooked the fact that it says wall tiles. It wants us to lay dark grey mosaic hexagon tiles. It wants us to lay 10 of them. I'll be honest with you, I thought that said floor tiles. I just didn't look at it properly if I'm being honest. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated as well because this just took us up to the 50 that we were needed for this. So if I lay 10 of the wall tiles, that means 10 of the blood red is going to get taken away. I could always paint this wall, but then, I don't know, is that going to look okay? I might not have a choice if I'm being honest, I'm just trying to think where I could put the 10, the 10 hexagon, hexagon grey tiles, let's have a look at them and see what they look like. Um, I mean, we could put them here. Right, guys, this is what we ended up with. I I took the tiles away from there. I painted that red again, painted this red. So this is the wall that is the grey tile. And I have to be honest, guys, it looks dreadful. I actually really don't like this at all. You've got four different ideas going on in an open space area. You've got the green, you've got the wallpaper, you've got the red, and you've got the tiles. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. We just need to crack on with it because it's not for us. I'm interested to see what the floor's going to look like, if I'm honest. Lay floor tiles, floor panel, pine. I don't think this is going to look nice at all. Wow. This looks a mess, really isn't nice at all, maybe we should have went with the other option if I'm being honest. Mountable narrow curtains times 2, let's go with that, so where are we here, times 2, let's go with, what colour do we want to go with, do we want to go with the green? Yeah, let's go with the green. There's one there, and one for this wall 
What else does it want? Mountable wide curtain, which is presumably for this wall. Go with the green again. There we go. It's not even the same colour of green. Right, there's the curtains up. And I'm not even... I'm not going to say anymore. Right, so in here we need quite a lot of things by the looks of it. So we need a sofa. So, sofa. Sofa, even. Sofa L. So let's go with... Do you know what? I don't want to have any strange colours in here. Let's just get one of these. I'm not going to keep it there, of course. I'm just placing it down just now. So how many of these do we need? We need... Back tasks, one of these, so is there just a plain one? I suppose that one will do. Put that there. One of these, make it white. Oh, this is huge. Put that there just now. We then have, they want four of these. Where are we going to fit four of these in? Let's go with this. There we go. Do you know what? I'm, I'm trying to place these. We've put them there because I don't think we're going to have much room if I'm being honest. They want one of these. We'll keep that as it is by now. Put it there. We'll get another one of these, but we can't have this one white for some reason. We'll make it grey. That's just a small one, so that's not too bad. They want another bookshelf. So we'll put that there. Two of these, we'll keep them white. Put them there just now. I will sort all these guys, don't. I wouldn't panic about it too much just now. Buy two, two of them. One of these, which we need absolutely desperately. Let's put it in the centre of the room just now and let's put it on because it's looking a bit dark. It looks worse now that the light's on, if I'm being honest. They want another dirty rug, so. By now, a welcome mat. Can we make this? Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's put the rug on its side so that you can't see it. Let's go with grey. By now, they want one of these. We'll make that white. By now, we'll put that. Spin it round first, we'll put that right there, that's in its place, so that's fine. They want a picture. Let's put that right there. That doesn't look too bad, I like quite big pictures if I'm being honest. Right, here we go, this is the kitchen. So... What I'm going to do is, like I've done with everything else, I'm just going to buy what they want and then we will see what we can do with it. This is going to be the kitchen over here, I know that much. So, oh, let's move all of these over here. So that we know what we are working with. Hopefully that's not in the way. So this is going to go... Where is this going to go? Maybe this way and then in this corner. Like that, is that right in the corner? No, it can come over one I think. It can. Right, so we've got that. We have the sink, which is of course going to go there. We then have three of these, so let's buy many. We'll go one, two and three. Hopefully this slots in here. There we go, perfect. 
So far so good. What else do we have? We have another three of these. One, two and three. Right, so the difference between these and these is this one has the extended worktop area which can effectively turn into like a, a breakfast bar. So, if what we'll do is if there's going to be a table there, what we'll do is we'll put the ones that don't have the extended back on them and we'll put them there and then the ones with the extended on will move out a little bit more so that it shouldn't interfere too much with this table once it's placed properly or at least that's the plan is this going to be too far over? Yeah, that doesn't leave much room there does it? no it doesn't Unless, what else do they want? Right, so in terms of worktops, not worktops, um, cabinets, they don't want any more, so we could actually move this one. Let's move that over here. That's as far over as it's going to go. We can then move all of these over. This is like a puzzle. There we go, that gives us more room to get in there. Yeah, much prefer that. Much prefer that, so we'll move that there because we might need to put something else in here. Uh, that's fine as it is, so that can go there. And hopefully the fridge can fit in there, but if it's a double fridge, I don't see that happening. So if we go to buy now, no it's not. So what if we move this there, put this in here, like that, and put this over here? Would that look too strange? Yeah, it sort of does look a bit strange, doesn't it? There we go, that doesn't look too bad actually, if I'm being honest. It's, I would have preferred to have a bigger walkway here, but I don't think we're going to be able to achieve that. Right, now we have two of these to try and find a home for. So, of course, one of them will go there. The other one will go... Where are we going to put this one? There. Unless we... no, I've changed my mind. You might not be able to reach that one, but that's fine. That's where they'll go. I'll put it down as far as it can go though, I think. Yep. Looks a bit strange, but I'm happy with that. Well, I wouldn't say happy, but I could live with that. So by now, we will put this over here. There we go, there's that. There is a cooker hood. So we want to put it... Why is it doing that? Why can't we place this? No. Do you know what? I'm not going with the cooker hood. We'll go with this, we'll put this up here, and what is this now? Nothing whatsoever in this job so far is making any sort of sense. But there we go, two of these, we need to make them green because everything else seems to be green. One there and one there. Let's actually move this one over a bit so we've got more room to play with over here. 
And what is this? How many of these do we need? Back to tasks, we need one of these. So let's, in fact, let's do them a favour. Let's, let's buy them two. And we will put them straight down the middle here and another one here. Yeah, there we go. This could actually come down a little bit because it's too close to the cabinets up there. Let me just see. Yeah, I could live with that. I could live with that. It's actually looking not too bad. Well, minus the colours, of course. Change the colours up, it'll be looking smashing, but as it stands just now, it's it's not too bad. It could be worse. We're not going with that, as we've already discussed. So let's get this area. Let's get it organised a bit better. So, bookshelf will go there. Picture can stay there, that is fine. That is a perfect area for this. Or at least I hope it is. There we go. Look at that, that was meant to be. That's exactly why they done that. We will go with this, we will put this over in this corner. We will put this in this corner. We will put this up here. It's maybe a bit big to be putting up there. Where's the other one? Can we put the other one? Can we put this on top of the fridge, do you think? Let's see if I can jump up here. Oh, we can. Look at that. There we go. So now we need to move this. They don't want a telly, so that's fine, and I'm not buying them one. We'll put this over here. Put the table here. In fact, where is this going to go though? No, I don't like that. Let's move that. We'll move that. We'll turn this around. Put that there. We'll put this. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to move this out there. We're going to put this in this corner. We're going to move this. Put it here. Of course, the welcome mat goes there. This, I don't know where this is going to go. If I'm being honest, it's, it doesn't look very pretty. We could put that there. And we can put this over here. And I actually don't think that is looking too bad, if I'm being honest. Put it at a slant so that it looks like it's getting used. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that, if I'm honest. Nothing wrong with that at all. Right, let's tackle this. Destroy the walls. Let's get the sledgehammer out. And let's go for it. Oh, broken pipe. It looks like the radiator pipe has been damaged. The leak needs to be stopped. There should be a water supply valve somewhere around here. Uh, there we go. Use. So we just need to clean that up just now. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, we definitely need to get an upgraded hammer or something because this is this is pretty bad if I'm honest. Right, let's get rid of this. Still a bit there. There we go. 
Hopefully that'll get rid of that now. So, what is it wanting us to do? Lay wall tiles, white mosaic hexagon, and it wants us to put 25 in. Right guys, there we go. I've just done this wall, and here, and then this wall here as well. Doesn't look too bad. So now we need to go for a mountable toilet, which is here. We will put that there. Assemble, put these screws in. Put the cistern in, there we go, and the lid. Old fashioned sink, so we need to unscrew this first. There we go, we will make this white. We'll move it further, yeah, we'll move it further over this way. Assemble this, we'll put this side in first so that the camera doesn't keep changing left to right. There we go, put that in. Put that in, put this in. Much faster at doing this now. Turn this, push this in, if we can find a sweet spot for it, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Shower plumbing system. So we'll put that there, your budget will run out soon, that's fine by me. If they don't have a shower, they don't have a shower, they shouldn't have picked such daft Colours for the open space in the kitchen, lounge and dining room. They would have had more money to spend here. There we go, buy now. Assemble this. There we go, put this in, pop this in and I think that's that done. And now they want an old fashioned mirror. Oh, I don't know if I like the white or the white wood. Let's go with the white wood. There we go. Done. Apart from the floor, this is actually quite a decent looking room. A bit plain, but that's fine. Paint with the colours natural beige. Right, here we go. Buy many. Let's buy two of them. Because I think two should do it. There we have it guys, it turns out to was enough, but only just. So what else do they want? They want us to put the floor panels in, which is this. I'm not even going to say anything. There we go, short narrow curtain, here we go, and here. I'm just going to keep it white. I I was going to say, we couldn't even mount that there. I didn't realise there was a window here. So we'll get this on. There we go. There's this. There we go. Put that on. Right. Now, they want a double bed. So white, white. Let's make that. Yep. Let's go with that. Turn that round, we'll put that there, right in the centre of the window, which that isn't, it needs to come over one to the left, I think. Is that central? That'll do. That'll do. White, they want one of these, so let's put this over here. In fact, where else can it go? Let's put it there. No, I don't like that there. There. That's where it's staying. They want one of these. What is this? A dog bed. Where can this go? In here, maybe? Ha! Look at that. Perfect. They want two of these, so we'll make them white by many. We'll put that one there, and this one here. Keep it white again, as we've been saying. There we go. That can come over one. They want one of these right above the bed, so central to that window 
and central to this window which is about there that should be fine and they want one picture which I am going to make is that large? let's put it here there we go we haven't finished 100% because of course we didn't put the why is that on? we didn't put the hood on but I'm happy with that so 99% we've got 12,500 for that let's see the difference much better that's a good angle if I'm being honest that doesn't look too bad so there we have it guys that'll be all for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me in the next one guys